Okay, hello everyone, you're very welcome. Thanks for dropping by. Today I'm gonna to put an automatic air vent system on this radiator. It's very easy to do, it's cheap, and it means then you don't have to go back and vent the radiator, remove the air. Okay, so this is the product I'm gonna use. It's an Aladdin Auto Vent. It's a HV30, comes like this, about seven quid, seven dollars, 750, I don't know, something like that. Cheap and very easy to install. So I'm gonna show you how I install it now. It's literally just a few minutes. Okay, so if you have a radiator that, you know, fills with air from time to time and it's, you know, a chore to go and do it or remember to do it, you come back, you know, maybe in the winter and it's kind of this much, you know, from there up is cold. Uh, generally, that's a sign you've got air in the radiator. Now, um, there's a procedure for doing it, you know, depending on the type of system you have. But essentially, the, the bleeding part of the radiator is easy. You get yourself a bleed key. It goes into the vent. It's a, a square hole in it. You open it. Now, when you turn it, You'll either get air or water. If there's air in this radiator, we'll hear a hiss, um, you know, like a leaking tire. If there's um, water in it, we're going to get a squirt of water out of it. So let's see. Okay, so there's no air in this radiator. Maybe you can see that. Okay, so that was just pure water out of it. Now this radiator in operation would heat all the way to the top. Okay, so what I've got is, this is a, a standard manual vent in a radiator. Every radiator has something, some way of purging the air. Uh, this one has something like this. Okay, so this is what's actually in this radiator. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it for an Aladdin uh, HV30 auto vent. Okay, and what this does is it removes the need to go along and bleed. It's an automatic air vent. It'll bleed the radiator automatically. Okay, so here's a closer look at this Aladdin HV30 auto vent. Okay, so it's, um, you know, that's where it gets it there from on the radiator side of things. It's got some magic inside, I don't know if that's why they call it Aladdin. And it's an automatic way of venting the radiator. Okay, so if you're interested in one of these, I have an affiliate link in the description below. All right, so here we go. Okay, so this is a thermostatic radiator valve. Um, very easy to switch off, you know, just turn to the zero and that's it, it's off. That's as much as you can do with it. This one is a return valve. Generally, they either spin and do nothing or they don't spin. And again, you can't do anything with it. So that's the cap off it. And what I'm going to do is it's usually a quarter um, flat, you know, it's flattened, it's squared off on the end of it. So I'm going to put this on this one and rotate clockwise. So I'm doing that now and that's all the way over and just a little bit. You know, a normal operation on these radiator valves is probably a plastic head on them. And you know, you can only put so much pressure on them. If you put a spanner on them, be careful, you could snap stuff. Okay, so this is the vent that's in the radiator at the moment. It's got a little hole in it and it's got a plastic thing, right? So the idea of that is that you can rotate it independent of moving the actual vent and direct the water or the air out of the system, um, out this little hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it so that it's pointing out this way. I've got a glass and I'm going to open the vent now. Now, I don't know what you can see, but maybe you can see it. What will happen is, because the radiator is switched off, at some point, that water is going to stop. And you can already see it's, um, it's diminishing. Okay, so that's all I get out of it. Water doesn't compress. Now, that's the water up to the point at the, you know, the middle of the radiator. When I take this thing out, that level is going to drop to the top of, or to the bottom of the hole. So there's going to be a bit out. What I'm doing here, is I'm, I'm putting um, a towel on the floor just to catch that. Right, so I don't know if you can see it in the shop, but there's a towel on the floor. So that's it, look, it's open. There's no more water coming out of it. But when I take this guy out, there might be. Chances are there will be. Okay, so here, here we go. Okay, so this is just a 10 inch adjustable spanner. Okay, nothing special, just, but necessary. Okay, and I'm gonna put it on this. Okay, so it's on. Now generally these are held in with an O-ring. So once you get it by the O-ring, that's it, it'll come out fairly quickly. This one's on an O-ring as well. This is the replacement, uh, the HP 30 auto vent. Okay, these are very good. So I'm gonna put this in anyway. All right, so look, one finger. Generally, as I say, they're held in with, um, with O-rings and it doesn't take an awful lot to get them to stay. Okay, so you can be fairly quick with this. But you know, if you're in a room with carpets and the whole lot, you gotta be super careful, right? This is a bathroom, I can dry up whatever gets on the floor. Plus I've got a towel on the floor to catch whatever comes out of it. Look, you can see that 
as I said, there's, that's the difference in level between the radiator um, in the middle and it's drained down here to this, this level. It should stop. <laughs> There's a ceiling below, but it doesn't. Uh, I know all about it. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put this guy in. That's it, it's now installed, okay? I'll do it again. Right, I just took it out, okay? And it's literally, if you can put um, a lid on a Coca-Cola bottle, <laughs> you can put this in. Look, here we go. Just find your spare thread and wind it in. That's it. It's now in. Okay, get your adjustable spanner, adjust it for this size. And that's not super pressure. Remember, it's held on the O-ring. So look, that's it. It's actually on now. So, okay, I got this amount of water. It didn't go through the towel, dry off the radiator. And what we're gonna do now, so we're going to open the valves and make sure everything is okay. So there's the, the thermostatic rod valve is open. And here's the return end of the radiator now open. When you open them, open all the way and then come back a little bit. The reason for that is next time somebody goes at it, it'll move in that direction and they'll know it's not fully closed or fully opened. If it's fully opened and you try and open it more, you're obviously you're going to snap that stem. Okay, so that's radiator open, cap back on, um, dry everything off, and dry. Okay, that's it. Okay, so be careful, you know, when you do this, because if you can't stop the water, you're in trouble. All right, so, but, you know, if you've got both ends of the radiator switched off and the valves are working, that's the important bit. If one of your valves is dodgy, um, broken, no, not fully closing, whatever, um, then, you know, this water won't stop. But um, just be careful anyway. Um, that's it there. It's an Aladdin HV30. They're available on Amazon. And there's a, an affiliate link in the description below. Um, okay, so if you like the video want to see more of them, um, please thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck.